What's going on guys, my name is Yellow SDK and welcome to some Monster Energy Supercross the game. We are checking out the second most liked custom track. This is Sauce Pack. It is a huge track. So we're gonna hop right in. We're gonna be riding as Baggett. I'm making this right after he just won the Glendale Supercross. So pretty cool for him to get his first 450 Supercross win. May as well ride as him here in the game. Uh, and let's hop in. This is a giant, giant track that uh, it's almost overkill, but let's uh, let's see what it's all about. All right, here we are. As you can see, this track is ridiculous. It's huge. Look at all those rhythm lanes. There are some massive jumps. I've only done three laps on this track, so you'll have to bear with me. I'm kind of learning it. As you can imagine, it's kind of hard to memorize this track, but look at that thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. Again, it's almost overkill, but it's fun nonetheless. The second most liked custom track so that says a lot uh, let's hop in I like doing this during a qualifying session because there's AI around you got to kind of get around them but um, there's no sense in doing this in a race let's let's rip around this track see if we can get better times each lap hopefully and really see what this is all about big section of whoops oh we just murdered somebody that double actually cased it see if we can still get the power down huge huge gap there I think that might be a uh, quintuplet I don't know but it's massive triple out some basic rhythms through there more of your super cross triple quad double I should have to slow up for that double into the corner most jumps you don't have to slow up for it's just kind of flat out on this track but again there are there are a few so you really have to be on point here see if we can jump this whole section oh, that's not an easy one to clear I've actually uh, that's the first time I've cleared that on my three laps not a great run through the whoops see if we can still get over the step up triple okay so just a super cross triple there and I think you have to actually slow up on this one get a nice run through this little single or roller corner massive super cross triple now this is actually a Triple table on, 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 off. <laughs> oh, I should have preloaded that. We scrubbed it. Shit. Woo. That thing's huge. Into a section of whoops. You really got to be patient and get where you're actually clipping each one. Otherwise, you just go so slow through them. Same thing here. You got to make sure you hit each one. You see, I'm kind of skipping them and it doesn't work out real well. Huge quad, a little bit of a case. Again, some huge jumps in this track. Table on, off, hmm, triple table on here. A couple of options through that rhythm. I haven't quite figured out what I want to hit through there. Triple table on, off. Ooh, OJ'd this triple, or sorry, that double there. So I'm gonna have to hit a really, really weird rhythm through this section, unfortunately. Let's see if we can still, oh, squeak a double in there. Oh, shit over the bars we deserve that one that was a sloppy rhythm kind of offset I'd call those moguls what the hell was that Anderson or was that Wilson that just blasted us okay oh it was poor cell of course of course it was he's retired now okay so let's get going again another steep double <laughs> Just like all over the place for some reason. Let's get back by Porcel here and get things going. Nice triple. Quad triple out. Woo! Again, just massive, massive rhythms here. Kind of a more generic super cross triple into a corner or a jump that you actually have to slow up for because that tight corner under the over under there. Outside. Try to get the power down. I'm assuming this is big. Yeah, huge, huge super cross triple. What was that? I think just a quad, but we over jumped it. Let's go table on, off. Try to keep that rhythm up. A little triple before the finish line. And as you can see, that's one lap. Like, how ridiculous is that? Hard to memorize, hard to get it down. Let's see if we can improve on our lap time here. Pretty ugly through there, but get that power down. Hit this huge one, two, three, four, five. Is that a six? Oh my god, <laughs> that thing is massive. 
Okay, triple. Obviously, our lap time is going to be a little messed up because of our crash, but we'll take it. Quad double. Slowly figuring this track out. There's just so much going on. It's not the easiest to just pick up right away. Double. See if we can still hit this quad. Ooh. Only way you can hit that quad is if you downside the double before it. Just perfect. Not much time to learn from our mistakes. Nice super cross triple. Now let's try to go on, off through there. That's probably a little bit quicker. Less air time, more just getting power to the ground. Okay, super cross triple. Here's our table. On, 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 off. But then it's really hard to clear this whole thing. Really hard as we just wad ourselves. Definitely doable, but not the easiest thing to do. Oh, shit. Again, clip each of the tops. You can see how much more speed we pick up when we're touching each whoop. Skip, skip. There we go. Quad into the corner. Table on. There we go. Another table on. And then you actually triple into the corner, which is a pretty sweet line. Starting to starting to get that flow. There we go. Now we should be able to get this triple. I think we quad this. Yes. Oh, a little case. Not too bad though. That's a pretty sweet section when you get it right. Not the easiest track, I will admit, but you kind of expect that going into it when you see the picture of just how huge this track is. Big fat triple into the corner. This guy really did a good job spacing the jumps right. You can tell he went jump by jump and tested it and really saw how well you would hit those landings. You can just tell that a little bit of effort went into making this work. Oh, that case. Difficult rhythm through there. I don't think I've got that one perfect yet. Super cross triple. This is where I actually got into my accident before, so I botched those both those rhythms twice. Inside, hard to get over that double. It's nice to clip that little roller on the inside there, double. This is a huge super cross triple. Into a quad. Oh, ho, 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 ho. gonna have to roll this here. Let's get a good run at the finish line and see if we can once again clean up our lap. Throw a whip. Catch Reed. Oh no, 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 no. Yes, get the power down. <laughs> we almost wadded it there. Oh no. Again? I think we've crashed there every lap. Honestly, in my three practice laps, I didn't crash there once. I cleared it every time. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm just not preloading because it just seems like you shouldn't have to with that much speed. Guess we're not going to be doing some killer lap times this time around. <laughs> okay, so you got to land this double nice and smooth to get over this quad. Very crucial to hit that just right. Again, that step up triple. Normal kind of super cross triple there, it feels like. Nice line through there. Now the hard part is getting off and not casing, because if I case, I can't clear this whole thing. So difficult. I want to clear that whole thing, but the way it's built is actually makes it quite challenging. I'm sure it's possible, but you just got to hit that off, that table off, just so, 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 so perfect. I almost would have rather seen a smaller landing to that table off, so it was a little bit more doable. Either way, getting into the big quad. Kind of botched this, but we still got the triple table on. The triple off is going to be a bit of a challenge. It's okay. This lap time is kind of 
jacked, so we may as well just see if we can get through some stuff here. Again, that triple quad, stretch it out. Nice, we landed that real clean there. Same with the double afterwards. You can tell if you start getting this track down, again, a lot of it's just trying to memorize it, but once you do, if you hit these landings, you're definitely rewarded for riding clean. I love that triple right there, because the steep landing, you gotta just hit it perfect. Oh, table on, on, off. Super sketchy, but we got through it. Again, another triple. This is that rhythm that I said I haven't hit correctly yet. Oh, man. Look at everybody struggling. The AI does not like that rhythm. <laughs> I think that was maybe, was that web going off? Or maybe it was Reed again. Let's see if we can get back on. Yeah, it was web back on the Yamaha. Easy to fall apart at this part of the lap. Again, with it being such a long track, it just gets ridiculous. I can tell I'm definitely starting to figure it out, though. A track like this definitely is going to take a good five laps or so to start to get the, get the feeling, get the vibe, figure out what it's all about here. There we go. We got the quad. Triple there. A bit of an over jump, but no big deal. Again... Let's clean this up. We need to get this big gap here. Split these guys. Come on. Clear it. Yes! <laughs> Got it. It's a better way to start a lap, no doubt about it. Barely getting over that triple there. Quad double. This might be our best chance at a good lap. that power down push out remember I need to not over jump this no we case so we're not gonna get the quad let's slow up double double not the fastest way to get through there but we made it happen side note Malcolm Stewart is in front of us he just broke his femur at Glendale poor fella he was killing it too um, always a bummer to see anybody get hurt especially something like breaking a femur man that's got to be brutal bit of a case there. Can we still preload and step on? Not the prettiest rhythm for us there. We're still going for this. Oh no, we're gonna die! <laughs> That's just part of our lap, I guess. I need to just say, screw that big-ass quad. We'll take it, though. Better run through the whoops there. That quad's really fun, nice and poppy. So is this rhythm here. Really weird, this beginning. But this triple table on, triple off. That feels so cool. Follow it up with a triple table on. Bit of a case. Oh, what the hell? He was like trying to huck a 360 in the middle of it. So yet again, another lap where we can't quite get it. And I think that's this track's biggest fault. Now... Again, it's a quality track. Whoever made this did an awesome job. Really fun track. Huge, very long track. But there's so much going on and so many rhythms that it's just almost overkill. But that's obviously the goal of this track. And uh, so I think they nailed it. <laughs> For some reason, I struggle through that corner every time. I don't know what it is. There we go. At least we're going to get through this how we should. Quad, triple out. At least I was able to show you guys that rhythm. I'm sure some of you guys have some fast lap times on this track. I thought I, I know I could put down a sweet lap on this. It might just take a little bit. Got to figure out some of the little nuances of this track. Kind of weird to land this and get this just right. Oh, get the quad. Not too bad there, actually. Okay, we're going to give this one more shot. We're going to start it off with a big, fat case. There we go. 
clearing it nice and smooth and fit. Triple, triple, nice and smooth through there as well. Not too bad. Got the quad, slow up for the double. Nice and tight on this corner. That section is really fun. Ah, I under jumped it again. You can't over jump it or you miss this quad, but I guess uh, I should be worried about the case as well. At least we're still getting through there. Can't expect every rhythm to be perfect. I had to push my cat out from in front of my screen there. Shit. Got lucky. Punk ass cat. There we go. Come on. No, we're not going to clear it. Come on, don't go down. Woo! Like to finish it off with our best lap time yet. Oh, we hit his bike. Not sure if we can get this quad. This might be the end of us. At least we didn't go down. Hitting that bike definitely did not help. Still trying to triple on. Kind of a little single out, unfortunately, but let's get the triple on off. There we go. Pretty clean through here. Get this quad. Yes. Lay up for the double. There we go. Nice triple there as well. See if we can get the triple out. Might case hard. Oh no, over the bars. We cannot get a clean lap here. So difficult to make this happen. Quad, triple out. Pretty fun rhythm when you get that one right as well. Ooh, sketchy triple. Good thing we got just an easy double out. Oh no, off track. Man, so this track is really solid. A lot of fun. I could spend a lot of time on it, mainly because it's just so huge. And it takes a while to get everything dialed. There's some tricky sections that make it where you really have to take your time, get it right. Um, maybe I'll post a hot lap that I actually get a clean one on this uh, later on. But we'll see. Overall, it's a really fun track. Huge jumps. Hard to memorize. And uh, rewarding when you get it right. Which is a recipe for some pretty solid stuff. We'll end with a big fat case. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to download this track. This was Sauce Pack. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Peace out.